Namaskar students students welcome back to the computer class today in this video i am going to start new chapter chapter 7 more on internet let us begin today's topics are introduction about the internet and impact of internet the first topic that we are going to learn is the online education under this impact of internet let us begin you will take out this chapter in your book the chapter number 7 more on internet what is an internet internet is a network of computer that connects the computer worldwide the most commonly used service on the internet is the world wide web which is also called the web the web contains websites blogs and information regarding almost everything web pages of the web can be seen and read by anyone unless the page needs a password or it is blocked sometimes the internet can also be a dangerous place information posted by people on the internet may not always useful and it may also contain viruses so what is an internet internet is a network of computer okay that connects the computer worldwide that means when all the computers are connected and they form a network network means a network of computer it's like a spider web okay you have seen the spider web so uh, when in, when one of the computer is connected with the another computer in this way all the computers around the world are connected together they form a network of computer okay and this network of computer that connects the computer worldwide okay when the all the computers around the worldwide they are connected together it forms a internet from here the concept of internet comes up or we can tell net okay the most commonly used service under the internet is the world wide web www okay this web contains website website you can see there are different websites are there like right if you want to give an online uh, competition or if you are going to any other information you are searching any information you can go to any website if you are uh, a company also have an uh, website your school also have an website so different school have an website also so these are the website okay this website is what under this website you will be seeing different information right you will be seeing there different pages the pages under this websites are the web pages web pages together forms a website particular websites is there and you will be finding this website in the internet right even you will be finding a blogs and information rega regarding everything almost everything even you can find out you want to find out any music you want to see any video you want to collect information anything any useful information any uh, uh, information related to a project related to a study related to anything you can find under this world wide web or the web okay web pages on the web can be seen and read by anyone as i told you so a web pages together forms the websites okay and and these web pages help us to see it's like a page it's like a page of a book okay a book we can take it as an example as an website and in the, inside this book the pages are the web pages so we can see and we can read it anything unless uh, if any web page is blocked we cannot see it and but we have to be careful uh, if you are taking if you are using any web pages we have to be very careful that it can be dangerous it can contain a virus also and sometimes the web page few of the informations are not useful we have to see which is useful and which is not useful okay now impact of internet internet has a great impact on our society every day the internet expands by the social political and economic activities of people all over the world and its impacts grow exponentially the internet has greatly influenced our society government commerce and other institution it is changing the way we live work learn govern and communicate okay so internet have greatly influenced the society the government or any economical uh, purpose 
of the institution so it has greatly influenced in all phases of our life and it is changing the way we live we work and now in this lockdown mode we can see the uses of internet have increased a lot right now we are totally depending on the internet Uh, depending on the computer depending on our phone so the internet uses have increased a lot and it is also helping us in many way to work to learn right to communicate so it's a very much useful thing nowadays if you are not using the internet that means it can create a, a very much what you can tell a havoc that if you are not using the internet because internet is now a daily purpose it is helping us in a lot in a lot way it is helping us the first topic that we are going to see some of the uses and services available on the internet using the in internet what are the services available that we are going to see the first is online education so this we have seen that uh, during this lockdown period if you, you have also seen that online education how it is done using the internet right so many educational institute from all over the world nowadays provide online educational facility the websites are there different websites are there students are going over there uh, gathering the information learning any new topic even you are using the youtube from there also you are gathering the information doing your task so all these are what you are able to use using the internet all this whatever the way you are studying these are the online education right e learning so internet make it possible to learn in an environment where the teachers and the students are not needed at the same place or in a classroom so this we have seen in a lockdown mode that yes uh, we are not able to go in a classroom but using this internet using this online education we are able to uh, learn right we are able to learn and it is an environment where teachers and uh, students are not there not present but still we are contacting with each other right there are different modes where they are through which the teachers and students are contact uh, are uh, are contacting each other and the students are also learning day by day okay distance education become easier and affordable with the use of internet even uh, beforehand before this distance education concept came what happened uh, students have to go to the school it's very much mandatory to go to the school and attend the class go to the college and attend the class but when this distance education concept came up now with the use of the internet we can easily do it we can do the online classes we can see the video like if the teacher is posting a video we can the student can see the video and can learn from there and then later on can ask to the teacher so the distance education is also becoming easier and affordable also example of a few e learning websites are see here cordova joyful learning dot com class on the wave dot com okay these are the few e learning website online exam some institute conduct online exams for their courses to evaluate the learning of the students you can appear in an examination from your home or examination center sitting in front of your computer with an internet connection it is termed as e assessment so when we are giving an exam using the computer and the internet connection that means the question is getting uploaded and the students are downloading it and doing it or giving the online exam that is the question is appearing on the screen within a time limit you have to solve and you have to give the answer it's mostly of mcq type that is happening like for a competitive exam this online test is very good right online exam is very good so using this internet we can see we can uh, held the online exam also online result also like just as you appear for an online exam you can also view your result online without going anywhere using internet facility for example to check cbse class 10 examination result how will you check it you have to open the website right this is a website you have to go over there then click on the cbse class 10 examination link then roll number you uh, the student will type the roll number date of birth and then click on submit button so using this websites using the internet uh, the students can easily check their result okay before this internet before this use of internet the students have to wait for the result they have to go to the school then only they are able to know it but now it is using this internet and the computer we can easily get our on online result next come the virtual lab 
virtual lab is an interactive virtual laboratory okay is an interactive uh, environment for conducting experiment in various branches of science it provides various tools for learning which include web resources video lectures animated demonstration and self evaluation so virtual lab means what it's a uh, online way okay because uh, here the web resources are used then video lectures that means using the video lectures the students are being shown that yes how you can perform a different uh, practical that you are doing in the laboratory you can do it but you have to see the video and you can do it at your home also animated demonstration and after going all through you can also do the self evaluation it is available 24 into 7 so student can learn difficult concept at their own place it gives the user a feel of the real laboratory it provide step by step guidance to the students so it's a uh, advantage is also there the in for the virtual lab and the example of website that provide virtual labs are virtual labs dot nmsu.edu uh, www dot online labs dot in next comes simulation a simulation is a process of designing a model of a real system and conducting experiment for understanding the behavior of the system that means a model if you want to run it okay you are creating that you are designing that model of a real system you are designing that model but it is not uh, you it is not uh, what you can tell it is not a practical one it is going on but what you are doing you are doing creating a model of any real system and conducting experiment you are doing the conducting and experiment like over here you can see they are just um, conducting the experiment they are making a one uh, system and it is just a model and they are just conducting the experiment to see that yes the system is working or not okay it allows to predict how a system will behave under a given set of condition for example a flight simulator it is a device that artificially recreates air craft flight and the environment in which it flies it is used for pilot training and designing and other purposes example is a flight simulator that means it is a device that is artificially created okay that is that recreates the aircraft flight flight that means if anybody is going a pilot training or any other training they can use this simulator flight simulator they can learn it over here the practical experience will be given but it is not a flight it is not a real flight or air aircraft flight is going on but it is a artificially recreating the aircraft flight you are just sitting over there you are just visualizing everything is whatever the real time experience you'll be getting when you are uh, running out the aircraft flight that will be done over here using the artificially model that is being created okay over there it is being used for a pilot training designing and other purposes so student this is the end of the video go through it and read the chapter thank you namaskar